Hello. Isn't nature wonderful? I often come here for inspiration to write. You say you don't understand rights-based moral theory. Well, I think I can help you. First, we must define the word right. At its most basic level, a right is an entitlement to freely engage in a certain activity. Also, when you have a right, there is an implied duty by others to ensure you are not stopped from freely exercising that right. So, what else must we know? Well, it is important to know the content of a right. What does it concern? Also, we must know the strength of the right. For instance, if an animal is believed to have a right to life, does that right of equal strength to the right to life that a human possesses? Rights also come in two categories, negative and positive. Negative rights are those that says other people have a duty to not interfere with my freedom, as in freedom of speech. Positive rights are those that entitle someone to something. Many people think that we have a positive right to health care. There are also differences between moral rights and legal rights. Moral rights exist independently from legal ones. These are also referred to as human rights. Legal rights come from statutes enacted through a legislative process, like unusual search and seizure. I have proposed that our Creator has endowed us with rights to life, liberty, and property. Your Thomas Jefferson amended it to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I like mine better. A rights-based moral theory says that rights are more basic than utility, dignity, and even duty. This means that the application of a rights-based approach to moral issues simply says that we appeal to certain rights as the basis for taking a specific moral stand. I hope this has helped in your understanding of rights-based moral theory. Be right.